Some great moments of the earth, it is true, have as their origin, events and accidents little remarked in their time, with no single suggestion, not patent nor evident, to the most searching intuitions, that just such a modest occurrence might precipitate forces and persons of surpassing consequence to the world and its traffic. Such are the sources of the mighty rivers. Rapids, currents, daily compelling an armada of barges, bearing cargoes of countless tonnage, through spans of water sometimes so large as to counterfeit the breadth of the sea, are everywhere traced back, upstream, into the mountains whence they spring, to no more than a trickling, a dribbling upwell, a thing that if it impresses the mind at all, it is only to provide a picture of a feeble energy, a beggared power. And yet the full river is the final expression of that meager upflow. On Saturday June 21, 1969, we can presume that a nearly infinite number of these humble encounters occurred that would contort the shape of history in far too many ways as to be measurable. It's possible that a child dropped a quarter down a sewer grate in Chicago, and its jingling resounded throughout the decades, only to be resolved in the resignation of a Congolese Minister of Sport. A bus in Port-au-Prince might have blown past a stop, though hailed by three tired expectant passengers, to arrive early at its destination, yet the itinerary of its consequence would arrive years later, in Cambodia, where a man fishes a fly from his tea. Unheralded by all but an intimate few, though recognized now for its rich issue, on that same day outside of Akron, an unassuming couple is recognized officially by state authority, priestly sanction, and in the eyes of God, as Mr. and Mrs. Todd Windhorst. But for the pomp of Catholic ceremony, a quiet union. Yet one that is the acknowledged genesis of cascading effects that would spring forth in the early 2000s in the rise to prominence of basketball correspondent Brian Windhorst, their son. While the world of men at that hour regarded it as simply one more marriage, it appears Mother Nature, the material soul of the world, did take note, for the following day, outside Akron, the Cuyahoga River burst into flames, in open acclamation of the germinal promise in these nuptials. <laughs>